The first weekend in March, I hopped on a plane for a very special event. As the plane landed, I received a warm welcome by snow. So I cleared the snow off my rental car and headed to the event. Hey guys, we are in Colorado. It's a little cold. We're at the downtown Denver Aquarium and we are about to go into Restock 2014. So come on. Hey, when it's snowing, you gotta get hit with a snowball. What a great idea to have an aquarium event in an aquarium. The snow did not stop the attendees as the event was packed. I saw a lot of familiar faces and some new ones. For such a unique aquarium event, why not switch things up? Jake Adams, founder of Reefstock and editor for Reef Builders, usually likes to be behind the scenes. But let's put him front and center just for a second as a few of us got the chance to swing by Jake's house to view a few of his personal aquariums. For me, no interview was necessary as we just chilled out and relaxed. Jake, I am definitely loving that bare bottom setup. I definitely think this is relevant as the main reason we attend these events is to gain tools and knowledge so we can make some awesome aquariums like this. Okay, let's head back to the event and start things off with a cool new nano aquarium setup, which is a collaborative effort from Nanobox and Synergy Reef Systems. So what I have here is the new desktop tanks. I'm working with Synergy Reef Systems on a new display. It's gonna be a, a tank and light combo. We're gonna run the tanks for about $140 to $150 with custom color tops. And then also the light systems will be roughly about $250 to $300 depending if you get a standard manual dimming or one with a controller. So what we have here as well is the new Bluefish LED lighting controller. Everything is controllable through this tablet or your phone. It's gonna be Android and iPhone compatible. Um, as you can see here, you have all the options from settings to play scenes. We can go into free mode here and I'll show you what it can do. Every nanobox unit is dual channel. Here we have a blue fish controller controlling two mini tides. It's all upgradable. As you can see here with the new blue fish controller, you can wirelessly change your colors. I'm here with Angelo, and your booth looks a little bit different than I'm used to. It is full of corals right now. Absolutely. Um, we're here at Reefstock kind of uh, showcasing a new division of Aquamedic. It's called uh, Aquamedic Live. Okay. Specialized in coral wholesaling um, and the wholesale of mobile inverts. So these are our uh, corals, a small sample of what we've been able to get over the past uh, 10 months or so since we started Aquamedic Live. Um, this is some of the best stuff that we've saved for a while now because we wanted to showcase it all at Reefstock. Um, let people know that we exist and we can get some really hot corals in here. Um, what we'd like to do is uh, we're strictly a wholesaler. Um, we're just here at Reefstock showcasing what we can get. If there are any local fish stores um, or anybody that already does not buy from us, you're more than welcome to come to our website. It's aquamedicalive.com or we are also on Facebook as well. Um, so we mainly specialize in Australian corals um, and a lot of Indonesian corals. We do scalemias, euphelias, a lot of different brains. Um, these are some great ones from the Timor Sea here. Both in our shop and our display table here at Reefstock, we use uh, Kessel LED lights. Down at our shop, we uh, use the old Aquamedic Ocean Light metal halides with uh, Kessels built into them. So it's kind of a do-it-yourself fixture. Uh, provides the, the halides um, for corals who really need high light, need that extra growth, and then the Kessels for the color. So we've been working real closely with the guys at Kessel. We're a big fan of their lights. But Aquamedic's starting to go into LEDs as well. Um, we'll be showcasing a new LED here in the next probably the next year or so. Um, and we also have a couple other new products that are currently available. 
So in addition to showcasing all the corals we can get, we're also here at Reefstock showing off our new brand of salt. Um, many people have been around in the hobby for a long time, may have remembered Aquamedic Salt from back in the day. Um, it hasn't changed a bit. The only thing that's changed is it's now readily available. Before it was hard to get, um, a little more difficult to find, but people love it. We've been selling it like crazy. So in addition to the new Aquamedic AB Reef Salt, uh, we're also showcasing our new line of supplements. Here's just a small sample of our liquid calcium and our KH buffer available in powder. Um, we have a full line of supplements, both liquid and powder supplements. We use them on all of our tables down at our facility in Loveland. So we have everything you need, Aquamedic Live, and Aquamedic is going to be a one-stop wholesaler shop. Hi, this is Ike from Ecozotic, and uh, we're showing our new full-spectrum LED. This is called the E-Series LED. It's a full spectrum. It has 65K and 8K white LEDs along with RGBW, and it includes a built-in controller with a remote that allows you to set your on, off time, your min, max, ramp up time, moonlight, and you can actually choose different colors with it. So if you have a planted tank and you want more red, you simply press the red button and the RGBs will change and you can pull the blue out and you have just added some red color. It also has all the dynamic storm features such as lightning, cloud cover, on-demand moonlight and these will be available in May of 2014. Hi, I'm Dave Marriott. Uh, we're here at Reefstock uh, introducing our new company called Fluid Designers. We are manufacturers of anything acrylic. Uh, if you want coral flats, you want sumps, you want aquariums up to 2,500 gallons, uh, we'll be glad to help you out. Uh, this is one of our new coral flat designs here and also some of our new uh, AI light holders uh, for LED lights. Uh, this is uh, one of our newest uh, sump lines. It's called our uh, Fluid Designers Pro Sump model. Uh, the, the key features with this sump is the way it's structured and laid out. Uh, the water usually typically on most sumps comes in on one end. Ours comes in in the center for a couple reasons. Uh, one, I, I like a design that allows you to access all your components. When you look at the sump from the front, you can easily get to your protein skimmer, you can get to your mechanical filtration in here. Uh, the intake box, this is where your course your water would come in from your tank. Uh, goes through your mechanical filtration. You can put carbon pad, blue bond pad, carbon, chemical filtration in that box, whatever you'd like to put in there. And this lid really makes it quiet and uh, keeps the salt spray inside the box. Get to your refugium, into your pump. Everything's laid out in a row, so it's very accessible. We figure that, hey, if it's easier to maintain, hopefully you'll maintain it a little more often. The water will uh, flow through from the filter box into this chamber. This chamber can be utilized for various components, reactors, uh, water, you know, put a heater in there. Uh, but then it spills over both sides into your protein skimmer chamber and then over into your uh, refugium chamber. So my name is Sean, I'm from uh, ProLine Aquatics and I'm here to demonstrate the Omega 150 skimmer. Uh, I'm here at the fluid booth here helping out Dave and uh, I'll give you a run through on the, the skimmer here. I'll, I'll start at the bottom. You can see there's screws placed around the base here. These are grade two titanium screws. Uh, this is the perfect balance of cor anti-corrosiveness and uh, durability of the screws. So you can completely take apart the whole base to make cleaning that much easier. You can see that there's the bubble plate in there and it may be hard to tell in video, but the bubbles are actually spinning clockwise really fast. This is because the pump is on an angle so when the water is being jetted in, it's hitting the inside wall and it's promoting that cyclical effect, okay? Now, moving up here a little bit, again, it might be a little bit difficult to see, but if you look right in there, you can see how this wedge pipe is mostly closed and you can see that the skimmer is, is just overflowing right now. Um, this is in approximately seven inches of water. You can, just with turning this pipe, if I turn it wide open, you immediately see that it's collapsed right down. 
So this is how you adjust your, your foam level height in your skimmer. So if you look inside the silencer, you can see this foam. All this is meant to do is as the air is being drawn in, it's not going to whistle. So it's one of those things that just help to make the skimmer run that much more silent. So a couple more things about it is you've got these rubber feet on the bottom. This is to help reduce noise vibration. Uh, it's run by a CG pump, Italian made pump. These are proven to be extremely durable pumps. If I turn it this way just a little bit, you can see this silicone coupler in between here. Again, this is to reduce the vibration between the motor and here. And go into the, the pump head here, it's all CNC PVC. You can see the port for the air ozone port and then you've got the custom balloon. Now this is actually a really integral part. As I turn this out, you're actually decreasing the amount of air that's being drawn in. So this is a really important part when you're factoring, you know, what kind of bubbles you want in here, how, what your air to water mixture ratio is, and this is that main important adjustment. Next, let's talk to Ecotech Marine about the reef link. All right, so we're demoing Vortec Control from the ReefLink and an iPad in this scenario. So with the pump control, you can see here we're gonna be in constant mode, and if you can see the aquarium here, the aquarium is pumping away. And if we move to a mode that we're gonna do pulsing, we can actually create a wave. So we're gonna set the pumps up to 96%. And the pulse time is going to be very precise here to get the resonance frequency of the aquarium at 0.315 seconds. And once we hit that, and there we go, you can see the waves starting to form on the surface of the water. And now you can save that as a preset within your aquarium and use that to be part of your day, daily schedule for your pumps and your lights. Next stop is Neptune Systems. Neptune Systems is the home of the infamous Apex controller. I wish you guys could have seen my reaction when I first laid eyes on their new product, the Magnetic Pro Brack. I almost jumped for joy. I can't tell you how many times I went to service my sump and found my probes floating in the water as they were being held on by suction cups. The magnet for their Pro Brack is very powerful. This is me trying to get it off. <laughs> In my previous video, I mentioned that Kessel was my sponsor for this event. Obviously, their booth was running Kessel's, but a lot of the other booths use Kessel's to show off their livestock and equipment. I was excited to learn that the downtown Denver Aquarium also uses Kessel's on several of their aquarium displays. So you guys will have to excuse me. I love aquariums, so I was not about to pass up a chance for a behind the scenes tour of the downtown Denver Aquarium. The aquarium houses over 500 species of animals from an interactive stingray touch tank, aquarium restaurant, and they even have a dive lounge. I visited a few of their tanks that are running metal highlights before we reach the first set of Kessel lights that illuminate two tanks. One of the tanks houses several colorful colonies of Corynactus, beautiful pink starfish, and striped surf perch that were produced at the aquarium. The other tank inhabitants include tube snouts that were bred at the Long Beach Aquarium, swell sharks that were bred in-house at the Denver Aquarium, and the chain cat shark or chain dogfish. This is another one of the aquarium's touch tank areas, and here is Kessel again shedding some light on two cool tanks. One is the home of a mantis shrimp, and the other is for Nemo and his dad. Or mom. I took my time heading back to the event to see as much as I could. I mean, you can't go to an aquarium without seeing some huge sharks, coral reefs, and some upside down jellyfish. They wouldn't allow me to turn them right side up, but hey, at least I tried. I arrived back at the event, and after Jake shows me the art of catching aquarium fish for a few lucky raffle winners, we sit down and talk about the event. So, Reefstock, yeah. 2014, was it a success for you? Um, you know, people ask, always ask me if it was a good show as if we were doing it for money, but it's yeah. really more about stimulating the local community. So, I always look for the level of the energy in the room and we had that we had that today yesterday was a little hard because it was really cold and there was a big pile up and a snowstorm but today you know i felt kind of like 
us fit, hit that meter, mm -hmm. you know? And so, yeah, it felt really good today to see the vendors with a smile, the manufacturers with a smile, the coral slingers with a smile. Um, that's what I get a kick out of, yeah. is everybody else's success. And what I like about the event is, to me at least, first of all, you had an awesome venue. Yeah. Having a reef event in an aquarium is just awesome. Um, what I also like is that it's so intimate here. It was really packed, yep. but you, and you really got to communicate with a lot of the other hobbyists. Right. And that's what I come to these events for in the first place. Some, uh, some, some larger shows are modeled off of conferences. Yeah. Our event is modeled off of frag swaps. Yeah. So there's less of actual swapping of the frags these days, but as ReefSock grew, we try to hold on to that ethos of that intimacy about the community and people getting to know each other one-on-one -on -one and not having drayage separating booths. You know, you saw banners overlapping people's booths and, you know, everybody's within short talking distance. There's no no dead spots and, uh, yeah, it's, it's a very different feel. We hope to, uh, to to continue with that. And now, lastly, we know you have Reef Builders. Yep. Any good stories? Oh, man, there's so much, so many good stories coming out and things that I don't even know about. You know, for example, I just got taken to somebody's uh, car into their trunk just now to see some cool stuff coming oh, out wow. next year. Okay. Um, but there's a lot of great shows coming up. There's Global Pet Expo uh, in a week or two in, in, in Orlando, but the big leagues is Inner Zoo in Germany. So for me, that's a very fun show to do. It's a lot of work. I walk up. I walk about a hundred miles in five wow. days. You know, we put on our Fitbits, and uh, it's about 20 miles a day when you're when you're making the rounds properly. So that, and then there's Magna. So. This year is going to be quite a powerhouse. All right. Well, thank you so much again for inviting me out. I hope I can definitely make it next year. And um, hope you guys enjoy the footage. Hey, thanks for coming out, Thomas. All right, thanks a lot. Joe. All right. This is the ultimate hobby. The ultimate hobby.